afternoon, and thank you for being here. Good afternoon. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Um, well, today we're gonna um, we're meeting to discuss the results and uh, interventions that have been implemented with your son, and also I'm going to give you some strategies that can be um, implemented to help your son in his reading skills throughout the school year. Uh, based on the baseline data that we collected, um, Angel was not performing at great level in reading, and you, the parent and the teacher, expressed concern that he was not performing at great level in reading. Uh, it was also stated that he possesses excellent math skills, and that was something that we utilized to help him improve his reading skills. I'm going to be discussing the three assessments that uh, were, were administered to Angel for this past uh, three months. And uh, we administered three assessments. It was a curriculum-based assessment, a learning style assessment, and a behavioral observation assessment. assessment. I'm, I'm going to go one by one, and I'm going to explain the outcomes of this assessments and also the interventions that were implemented to um, help him in his deficits. Okay. okay, the first assessment that we administered, it was the curriculum-based assessment, and the results showed that uh, Angel lacked important reading skills that are necessary to be a successful reader, and based on the results, and the intervention that were implemented to target his reading skills, he lacked um, those um, reading skills. Um, we implemented an intervention where we monitor his uh, reading fluency and his comprehension. And after a four-week intervention, uh, I had increased his reading fluency rate. He was reading 71 words per minute. And then by the end of the four four weeks, um, he read 87 words per minute, and he also increased his reading comprehension. The second assessment it was um, the learning style assessment, and um, this indicated that Angel is a visual and kinesthetic learner. Uh, he's able to process information when the material is presented uh, with images and pictures. And, and when um, physical activities are incorporated in the reading activities. Um, then the third assessment was the behavioral observation. And this showed that Angel, uh, even though he's a very well-behaved uh, student, he showed difficulty paying attention and staying on task. Um, uh, an intervention was implemented to help Angel stay on task for longer periods of time um, during the class lecture, and the strategies that were implemented were proximity and mobility, and that's um, the teacher had to be moving around him and constantly prompt Angel and, um, and praise him constantly uh, when he was staying on task. He likes being um, praised, and this motivated him to stay focused and on task. Okay, so these were the three assessments that were administered to Angel. And um, let's see what else. Do you have any questions, ma'am, at this moment? No, no, I think you am understanding well. Okay, then um, I have discussed the three assessments and the results of the interventions, and this will be considered a follow-up meeting, and I will be discussing some long-term strategies that can be utilized with uh, Angel for the rest of the school year to help him improve um, his reading skills. And based on the assessments and the interventions result, it is recommended for uh, Angel's teacher that um, she incorporates reading activities um, with the use of manipulatives and physical activities since he's um, 
a kinesthetic and a visual learner, he these activities would help him uh, stay focused. It is also suggested that the teacher uses proximity and mobility to keep him to to keep him attentive uh, during class, and um, <clears throat> that is that when the te the teacher is lecturing, uh, she needs to be constantly moving around him. Um, prompting him and also praise, praise him when he's staying on task. And uh, some of the suggestions that for the parent is um, that to set a specific time each day uh, after school so that um, to have Angel read um, and just listen to him read and um, also it is recommended that uh, the parents do some reading activities with uh, Angel. Uh, some suggestion is that uh, to take him to the library once a week and choose books together that um, you all can read at home. Um, it's also important to have a set of questions uh, ready to ask Angel after he finishes reading uh, to make sure that he's comprehending what he reads. And, <clears throat> and um, well, those are the suggestions that um, are recommended for that you parents do. Are there, are there any questions? No, no, thank you. Okay, then. Um, I would like to um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to work uh, with your child. It has been a pleasure and I have um, learned from this experience and um, 